Hey guys. Hey guys, winter is here in Minnesota and we are gonna tell you all about how we are relieving stress of that holiday season and about our latest build inspired by the Black Stave Churches of Norway. Here we go. Here we are with Winnie at the Northern Express in the Twin Cities, and it is a winter wonderland, Winnie. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. So uh, if you don't know, the Northern Express, this amazing, immersive winter wonderland experience. Yeah. Uh, Winnie, why? Like, why did you create this? Why is this a part of, how did it come to life? Tell us a little bit of the backstory. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, ever since I was tiny, I dreamed at Christmas. It was wonderful, it was magical. The idea of looking up and seeing the lights, I mean, we all, it's like nothing that you've ever yep. felt. And after the last few years and everything that's happened, I thought, now is the time again. So in order to you know, create additional revenue streams for small businesses, give back to the community through our charitable endeavors, and then just bring some more joy into the world. Um, with Tana Duna here, my gosh, it's, you know, 10 acres of gorgeous outdoors. You feel like you're in the North Woods. And um, it felt perfect to, to do this now. We've had an amazing first weekend, <laughs> bursting at the seams of people, uh, figuring out a few quirks along yes. the way, <laughs> as happens when you launch something, but also yeah. watching people have that magic experience that you're describing mm -hmm. happens again and again and again. My kids were here uh, yesterday and we did sit on Santa's lap. We yeah. like, pet llamas and walk them around. We got hot cocoa, we did the full thing. And it, yeah. th watching the sort of them being little and have that magic moment, yeah. it's, uh, it's emotional. It's emotional, you guys, it when is. you see that in yeah. little kids' eyes. So thanks for, I mean, hundreds of hours, thousands yeah. of people hours to make something like this happen. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how does it feel in the midst of it? Give us the honest, like, you holding up okay amidst the craziness <laughs> of launching a thing? I'm, I'm standing, I'm yep. standing. And I think that that comes from being able to watch everybody enjoy Cedar and Stone. I'm in there and I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to pretend that that's me right there. And it's, it's a saving grace, but no, it's, it really is wonderful. And we've got the full schedule listed on the website. And, um, I think it, yeah, I mean, it's been an amazing first weekend and the second and third can only get better. So. Well, we're going to yeah. keep supporting you guys, supporting you. local businesses. Uh, we're going to tell the world about this and hopefully in the years to come, it just yeah. keeps growing and there's more spots for it. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Winnie. Thank you. All right, you guys, uh, come on down if you're around. If you're watching this later, uh, just, you know, have a cup of hot cocoa and remember the Christmas season. Here we are. All right, you guys, till next time. <laughs>so good to be with you here. Becca is the director of Campfire Minnesota. Of programs and operations. Programs and operations, yes. does all the stuff, makes yeah. it all work. Mm -hmm. And we are here at Tanaduna. Yes. And you are the host site and what a winter wonderland that you have for us to be. Thanks for letting us be here. We're so grateful that everyone's out here experiencing Tanaduna yeah. and the winter wonderland that it has become. So when it's not a winter wonderland, holiday event for three weeks in the winter. What do you guys do here? So yeah. like pitch it for folks who are sort of like yes. in the Twin Cities Metro yep. or elsewhere, you know, what are the kind of things that you guys offer? Yes, so uh, Campfire Minnesota, we provide nature experiences for people all across the Twin Cities and beyond um, with the goal of making sure that everybody can have access to nature um, and experience all the magic that can happen out here in the woods. Um, so we're close to the Twin Cities, which is great. We're here in Chanhassen, Minnesota, um, which is a great opportunity for people to come and not have to go too far to get out into the woods. Now, I need to ask, because yes. we're the, we're the sound of geeks around here, right? And mm -hmm. you, in a previous role, yes. directed at Camp Du Nord I up did. in Ely, mm -hmm. right on Burnside. It is one of my favorite saunas yes. in North America, yes. built in like 1933. Yes. So you ran that camp. I did. Tell me, what do you love about sauna as it relates to camp life? Mm -hmm. Like it, it is, to me, I love it in all these different forms, but there is something unique mm -hmm. about 
bringing people into a space where they're out, they're, they're out of their home, they're paddling, they're mm -hmm. jumping in the water, and then they're introduced to sound in that way. Yes. What? Tell me more. And they're interest, introduced into something new and often something that people have never tried before. Yes. And But sauna has is part of so many different cultures and so many different people over forever have used that in various ways yep. um so it's just so fun to bring people into a very cozy and intimate atmosphere together to relax and sweat and just be human and yeah. and um try something new and then the thrill then of going outside, especially in the winter after that, yep. and not knowing what that's gonna feel like. Um, yep. So new experiences I think are really important for people. And when you bring sauna to a camp, you you introduce this new exciting thing to so many people who wouldn't have tried it otherwise. Yep. So you do orders, you, you widgy <laughs> folks, you folks who go up to Ely. Uh -huh. uh, we love the team up there who's still up there and absolutely try yes. out some of those saunas up there. Absolutely. And then go jump in Burnside Lake. Absolutely jump all, in Burnside every, Lake. Every month of the year. They yes. cut a hole in the ice, they do it all. Yep. Uh, Becca, thank you so much for, for hosting here. us yes. here, for getting to do yes. this. Yes. What an honor to bring one of our saunas to be yes. on property with yes. you guys. We'd love to have you back. <laughs> You heard it here first. We'll, yes. we'll be back. Yes. All right. Thanks, Becca. Thank you. See you guys. Hey, you guys. We are going to tour this latest build. We can't wait to show you it. It's amazing. Some details in it we're super proud of. Before we do that, I do want to say a quick thank you to a couple of our friends and sponsors for this video. That being... Brightwater Clothing and Gear here in Excelsior, Minnesota. Brightwater is amazing, long-lasting clothing and gear for folks who love the outdoors. And they hooked us up, they got us this amazing Nobis jacket from all the way up from Canada. It is one of the warmest things I've ever put on. There's magnets right here. Just unbelievable, works great, and I feel like I could go uh, you know, on a sled dog race in this thing. It's it's super comfy and cozy. So thank you, you guys. And if you are in the Twin Cities area, you need to go visit the team over at Bright Rider Clothing and Gear. Super great stuff. All right, on to the tour. So a decade ago, my wife and I spent time in the Nordic countries. We traveled over went through Finland, Sweden, and Norway. And when we were in Norway, we were inspired by these hundreds of years old stave churches. They were gorgeous, they were beautiful, and they were almost all completely black on the outside. And that's because the way in which they stained and sealed those churches was with pine tar. In Finland, they would call that turva. Uh, it is a beautiful, Kind of rich resource that Finland exported some of the most of it uh, in the past couple hundred years. They would paint it on ship sides to make them seaworthy and go across the ocean. They'd put it on bridges to make them last longer and they would paint it on these beautiful stave churches as a sealant to keep it nice and beautiful and long-lasting. And we've been inspired to do that here with this sauna. So this is the Norwegian stave church inspired beautiful siding also from our friends at Arborwood. So this here is uh, Arborwood that is a thermally modified wood. We love working with that. Here is their uh, pine and then we also have their ash. And this is used for all the detail in this sauna. But I love the fact that this Norwegian heritage kind of has some play aesthetically in this thing. This, this whole space is about efficient use of space, clean lines, and beauty. So this small unit is uh, a nice four-person sauna with this beautiful exterior, this nice awning and entryway here, and just the most wonderful little details, especially during the holiday season, our lighting, our wreath, our coat rack, all the good stuff. Um, and as you go in, one of our wood-fired home stoves that is just making this place cozy and warm. Now, in addition to it being pretty on the outside, we want this one to be nimble. 
So we're here right now at an event, this holiday gathering, the Northern Express in Excelsior, and this one's gonna have a home, it's gonna be moving. So this one is another one of our mobile units. Uh, but you might not even notice that. So you come around here and these beautiful sort of architectural elements are actually just covering up the wheels and the, the chassis system underneath it. So the goal is for something like this to be so nimble you could just take it anywhere. You could bring it to the ski hill and do your days on your skis or your board and then have a great sound at the bottom of the hill. You could bring it to the trailhead. You could bring it out surfing. You could go mountain biking and get rid of those mountain bike sore legs from all those days on the trail right in the sound of wherever you're at. So this is the nimble unit. This is the one that would be able to get you there. Some of ours we built are so big that you need the big truck to get it there. This is the little nimble one. We, we just love it. We love how it fits, how it works, how it's beautiful, the quality of the build and design, and how you're just gonna be able to take it with you any, any, anywhere. And so that's what we're doing. We're at this event for the next three weeks and we are helping people relieve their holiday stress. Huge thanks to everybody involved. Uh, Winnie and the team at the Northern Express, Becca and her team here at Tanaduna Camp, and Bill at Brightwater for cozy gear along the way, and our dear friends, John and Kelly at Arborwood. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? The Arborwood Mini Mobile, here down in the Twin Cities, ready to serve you. You guys, thanks for watching, thanks for being here on this one, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, okay? All right, here we go.